Now that you've finished filling in a game template, save it in your Clue Studio folder. Remember to name it something that will be easy to identify. Clue Studio will create a media assets folder with the same game name, and it will house the images, videos, and audio files that you created in the game. Now you're ready to copy your game to the Classroom Jeopardy included USB flash drive. Windows users can insert the Classroom Jeopardy USB flash drive into the USB port on your computer. The autoplay window will open. Select Open Folder to view files. If the autoplay window does not open, go to My Computer and select Clue Studio. Drag both the game and the folder of the game media assets to the Classroom Jeopardy USB flash drive window. Please note, the game will not play correctly without the media assets folder. Mac users can insert the Classroom Jeopardy USB flash drive into a USB port on your computer. The USB flash drive icon will appear on your desktop. Drag both the game and the folder of the game media assets into the Classroom Jeopardy USB flash drive window. Again, the game will not play correctly without the media assets folder. In case you are wondering, the included USB flash drive can hold up to approximately 500 games with no media, 60 games with an average amount of media, and about 10 games with 10 large files each. Be sure to eject the USB flash drive before you remove it from the USB port. Remove the USB flash drive and insert into the back of the Classroom Jeopardy base unit. Now you're ready to play.